Shalom. We want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Akakwadash, for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside him. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit. The salutation to the elect when the most have given ears. Um, it's one thing to be a faithful witness. Um, you know, in which we learn through those men and of course the spirit of power of Yahweh by Shimi Um, what times we're living in, you know, that we're living under. The devil, the so-called white man, the deceiver. Um, the scriptures speak about how a faithful witness will not lie, but a deceitful witness will utter lies. And that's who we're dealing with. If you've been watching our videos, the Hebrew Israelites, especially us over here at Great Millstone, we tell you, according to the scriptures, that Esau Edom is a so-called white man. Esau Edom is the wicked. He's the son of the wicked. And Esau Edom, going back to the very beginning, uh, has the spirit of Cain, in which he had the spirit of a liar from the very beginning. When you watch this, uh, which this is my second time watching this video, I believe, yeah, the Elder Apostle Tahar did a, a, a quick take on it. But it's a lot to be said in this video. All right. Um, this video of the Fox News is a quick hit. It says, Lawrence Jones confronts young anti-Israel protesters over Hamas terror. Now, this video alone, when you look over the past, which I think this came out like a week ago, it do... Videos pretty much every hour, right? 100,000, 30,000. All right. Pretty much around the same, anywhere between 30 to, to 150, 200,000. Some a little bit more, you know, but none over 300,000. But when you go into um that war, all right, which will lead to the war of Armageddon, the war between Iran and Israel, or between the Palestinians, the Arabs, and the, um, the Israelis. Those videos are getting a lot of views. You see, this one um, is well past 200,000. It's actually at a million. Iran threatens huge earthquakes for Israel, warns against Gaza invasion. Um, you know, so people are looking. And people are um, anticipating another uh, terror attack upon the Israelis, right? When you go down, as you see, it goes the views goes back down to its normal count. Um, that video I was just showing, brothers. Let me see. Now you see that video I was just showing brothers along with, which was what, four, like, uh, let's say four or five days ago. Then you have uh, breaking Israel, infiltrates, raids, Gaza, and looks for hostage. Now in this one, I was just showing brothers. All right, this one also has 1.1 million views. So all eyes are over on that part of the world right now. Right? As it should be, because it's written in prophecy as the third's woe. To where Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shai is um, drawing uh, the northern army over there into uh, the so called Middle East by way of, uh, as the scriptures call it, the least of the flock, Israel. Now, um, in this video, I'm not going to play it. I'm going to just, you know, give 
you know, give my take. I'll probably put it in the description box most likely. But in this video, first and foremost, before they show the guy, was the guy Lawrence Jones is the... Uh, would seem like an Israelite, the so-called black man to, to the left of the screen there. Or my left probably be your right, however the case may be. The only black man on the screen. Um, so prior to them showing him doing interviews, you know, they talk about uh, basically what you should prepare your mind for. The mindset of the, of the, the children at these colleges I think they showed Columbia College. Um, I think they said another college called Hunter College. Different colleges um, in New York, as well as different parts around the nation. And um, I'm quite sure they did interviews on a lot more people. But of course, they just showed the ones that fit their narrative. Right? Which you had a lot of people, the people they in in interviewed the children or the different college students they interviewed you know some of them didn't believe in the narrative some of them were clueless as to what was going on but when they put uh i think they interviewed like four kids all together so they that they showed when they put them all together all of them seemed like like idiots like they didn't know what the fuck was going on you know, and of course he was asking particular questions to make them look stupid. And then he interviewed like one or two more of the Israeli because the other you had ones that um didn't believe. You know, they you know they, they they saw it as a propaganda. You know, they they weren't on the side of uh pro Israeli. And then you had um little uh, Israeli kids who, um, you know, who of course was uh, speaking out, speaking on how sad they were and this, that, and the third, you know, which, like I said, I'm not going to play the video because you know how Fox, you know, how these uh, mainstream uh, media is, but pretty much the comment tells it all, the comments, it says, when people wonder how Nazis could even come to this, this is how. Um, it seems prudent for Americans to be ready to defend this country against protesters like these. You know? Basically, they looked at as quacks. Alright? They showed you on the news, um, you know, the crisis of what's going on over there. Kids being killed, you know, girls being beheaded, things of that nature. And, um... To the common eyes, like, how could you come against this? What are you talking about? You know? What are you talking about? It was fake. You didn't see the news? You didn't see the uh, the pictures? It says, these people severely underestimate the brutality of war and humanity. It's genuinely scary. This is from uh, Dwarf SJ8DU. It's genuinely scary. That majority of these people can vote. <laughs> you got some people say, this is beyond sickening, God help us. So for the most part, people bought into the narrative that was um given to them by these newscasters. You know, if you didn't buy into the narrative, you were the stupid one. This is a pretty uh, decent one. By the uh handle B bad or been me Zion nine four twenty. If you're not careful, the newspapers will have you hating the people who are being oppressed and loving the people who are doing the oppressing. You know, then you said really who are being oppressed here, so. Again, if you just remotely show your disbelief or have different opinions than what the world wants you to believe, then you'll be ridiculed. It says, uh, the sheer ignorance of these protesters is staggering and disgraceful. 
<laughs> um, it says, imagine going to a protest just to go to a protest and have no knowledge of what is actually going on. All right. So for the bulk of these uh, comments, for the bulk of these comments, they're coming against those who don't believe in the narrative. Those who don't believe in, um, you know, that Israel's, uh, or those Israelis over there are super innocent. He says, wow, how uneducated they are, but they are at college. That's true. Um, this is, you know, I found this one pretty interesting by Felipe Montsevez. The media is the most powerful entity entity on earth. They have the power to make the innocent guilty and make the guilty innocent. Right? And... Whatever happened over there, you gotta understand that this devil, he is a man, he is a deceiver, he is the wicked. Right? He will paint a picture. He will paint a picture. But he'll tell you how you ought to think. You know? And um The scriptures tell us to never trust our enemy, right? As a matter of fact, we'll grab that first. I say that's a beautiful precept to, to um, start off. So Rock 12 and 10, never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Though he humbleth himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass. Right? So if you are of the type of a of a cynical or a logical mindset, you're not just going to take whatever he gives you. All right? You're going to, uh, as the scriptures say, judge righteously. All right? You're going to look at both sides of the spectrum. What's being said, all right, versus what... The Israelis say versus what the uh, Palestinians say. What's the history? You know, and then you you can make a educated um, judgment of your own. All right, and through the scriptures, we know that we can never trust this man. He is our enemy. All right. When you go into the book of Genesis 27, it speaks about how Esau hated Jacob and sought to kill him from that day on, from that day that his brother Jacob stole a blessing from, well, not stole, but he found out that his brother Jacob got the better blessing than him, which in all, actual, all actuality, he sold it to Jacob, right? But he is your enemy. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, he is your enemy. And then furthermore, he's the enemy to the world. All right. Well, as it says, set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee. Let me let me read that verse 11. Though he humbleth himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand. Lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou at the last remember my words, and be pricked therewith. Right? And if you're not privy to this devil's uh, schemes, his plots, you know, his history of wickedness, you will be caught up in the okie doke. You know? Just when you look at a, a lower level, we're not even talking about the rulers of this world, but those that he sends out to do his dirty work, they have, um, or they they are instilled to work in the art of deception. I was just watching this movie with uh, Al Pacino, pretty good. Um, earlier, it's called The Recruit, and um, many times what was said over and over 
which at the end of the movie, you know, he was actually uh, <laughs> being deceived. But many times it was said over and over is everything is a test. Believe nothing. The only thing you believe is your intuition. You know? And um, to the masses that don't believe in what this devil's saying, they're actually, uh, I'm not, not to the masses, but to those that don't believe, they actually have a, uh, they actually, I'll say they actually better, better off than those that do. Hell, look at the 2020 situation. Whereas then they, you know, said you, you can't work if you don't have this this particular uh potion, you know? And then you fast forward to 2023, you got leaders of these different health organizations that now they're saying, oh well, we didn't tell we didn't force you to take it. Why? Because cats out the bag, you know, you see the different illnesses, the different deaths that ensue. And now it's like, and now it's like, um, you know, uh, you had a free will choice, right? And this is why the scriptures will always reign supreme to never trust our enemy. Never trust our enemy because at the end of the day, all right, you're going to be played, you're going to be made to look like the fool. Right. Another thing I noticed when you watch this video is that they mentioned how you had a lot of people with masks, right, which they were given masks prior to the protest being started because they were saying how they wanted to conceal their identity. And the uh, the panelists, you know, the different um, newscasters, they were saying how, you know, how basically um, you don't know who's who nowadays. That's basically the narrative that they was trying to push. And when you look at other news, what they're saying, they're saying as far as different things being, you know, different um, upticks of uh, sicknesses, you know, a new CV situation is uh, brewing up, you know. And now when you look over in, over in New York, even prior to what happened on October 7th, the Hamas-Israel thing, you had people putting on their masks. So when you put two and two together, it's like, I don't know who's who now, you know, anybody could be a, a potential threat. And that's the narrative being pushed in this world. All right. On one hand, you know, they say, you know, uh, be careful out there. You know, it, people are getting sick. Maybe you should put back on your mask. And then on another hand, they're saying, well, we don't know who's who has the mask. We don't know who's who. Because everybody's covered up, you know, and um, I've noticed going into the city and, you know, moving to and fro here in Jersey that there were signs, um, you know, in different interstates and um, expressways, signs like this, which... I've been seeing signs like this prior to October 7th. I would say around the beginning of September. It says, Suspect Terry's contact NJOHSP. As you see, you see it. You know, but it's, um, it's pretty funny how prior to that situation, you've been seeing these all over the place. You know, and you add that on top of the different um, migrants that Biden has been letting in, you know, amongst those migrants, you have, now they're saying, you know, you got Hamas amongst them, you got, a uh, uh, the cartel amongst them, all right, so, you know, as our apostles say, which it makes perfect sense, that next, that next Terry attack that hits America, is going to do a whole lot of damage, a whole lot of damage, and it's coming. Right, but um, we're gonna get Psalms 36 in the KJV and then in the NLT, where it says to the chief musician, a psalm of David, the servant of Yahweh. The transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no 
There is no fear of God before his eyes, for he flattereth himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He have left off to be wise and to do good. All right. So remember. Never trust our enemies. We're talking about the wicked. All right. Was that Malachi 1 and 4? The wicked is Esau, Edom. The board of wickedness. He, the words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. When you go into the word deceit, it means treachery, false, guile, craft, subtlety. All right. Some of the qualities of Esau Edom, all right, is uh is that Genesis 25. Some of the qualities of Esau, which is Edom, right, according to Genesis 36, Genesis 25 and 27, the boys grew and Esau was a cunning hunter. And other words for the word cunning also means what? Deceit. Right? When you look up the word cunning. Right, it says crafty, guileful, artful, willy, sly, knowing, scheming, tricky, slippery, slick, deceitful, deceptive. Right. So this is the man that we're dealing with here. Now we go over to Gen uh, Psalms thirty-six. For the and, and this is also proves that this Bible is not a white man's book. All right. How could this Bible be a white man's book when it tells it tells the ways of the so-called white man? It tells the ways of a deceptive man. Right? If you're decept if you're a man that works in deception, you know, why would you leave the truth out there? Nah, this word was sanctioned by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. This word would be there and this word would be used. All right, and the uplifting of the elect and the expulsion of the wicked, or whatever former ruler besides, of course, uh, Yahweh Shah. The expulsion and the exposure, I would say. All right, which first comes the exposure and then comes the expulsion. It says, For the choir director, a Psalm of David, which again, this is Psalm 36 and 1 in the NLC. The servant of Yahweh, sin whispers to the wicked deep within their hearts. They have no fear of God at all. In their blind conceit, they cannot see how wicked they really are. You know? For these, these devils have been lying for so long, they actually believe in their lies right at this point. All right? Which is they are right where the, they are right where the Lord wants them to be. Right? They have to fill of them. They have to fill up themselves with so much pride to come up against. All right, the king. They have to fill up themselves with so much pride to come up against the heavenly host, in in the time of World War Three. In their blind conceit, they cannot see how wicked they really are. Everything they say is crooked and deceitful. Right, and that's what a stick is. How does a snake move? For the most part, it doesn't move straight forward. You know? Let's, let's actually look that up.
That's probably better. Uh, It's almost like a little study, you know, just again, further proving that, um, which we already know, you know, how snakes move. Concertina locomotion, side winding, and finally rectilinear locomotion. It basically boils down to the snakes controlling the movement of different muscle groups in order to propel themselves forward. And they will use these different methods in different environments. For example, side winding may be more useful in a dry environment than, say, serpentine movement. But let's start with serpentine locomotion. This is that side-to-side -side motion that you almost always associate with snakes. And what they do is they push themselves off of a sturdy object, like a rock or a log or a branch, and then they push down where their body bends to propel themselves forward. This is also called lateral undulation. And if there's one word to remember from this entire video to sound really smart in front of other people, or if you're a kid watching, if you want to sound smart in front of your parents, learn the word undulation. This basically refers to the side-to-side -side motion of something or like the wavy motion of something. That's called an undulation or undulating movement. For example, a lot of fish have undulating fins, especially knife fish. That ventral fin, which is the fin underneath the body, waves back and forth to maintain their posture or move themselves forward, and that's called an undulating fin. So there you go. The word of the day is undulation, and it's a good way to describe the serpentine locomotion found in snakes. The second type of movement seen in the snake world is called concertina locomotion. In this method of movement, snakes will reach forward and anchor the front half of their bodies down, and then they pull forward and kind of scrunch up or accordion up the middle part of their body, and then finally they anchor the back part of their body straight and forward, and then the whole process starts over again. This is also unofficially called called accordion locomotion because if you think of it, it's kind of like an accordion moving where they reach forward, they bunch together, they reach forward, they bunch together, and that's how they propel themselves. Hmm. Pretty interesting. You know, but that's how snakes move. You know, that's how the most I made them. Snakes move in S shapes in a zigzag manner. Right? Pretty much as they had to move crookedly in order to propel themselves forward. Right? And that's that's who we're dealing with, you know? A crooked, a deceitful man. They refuse to act wisely or do good. They lie awake at night, hatching sinful plots. Their actions are never good. Right? So when you're talking about free this person, free that person, all right? We know it's a, it's a more sinister plot behind that, you know? Which you want the world to co-sign that wickedness. Inadvertently, of course. Your unfailing. Right? Did I use that word correctly? I believe so. I guess that's not the right word, but. You want the basically they want the world to co-sign their wickedness. Right? Without saying it outright.
They lie awake at night hatching sinful plots. Their actions are never good. They make no attempt to turn from evil. Let's jump over to Isaiah 32. We can, up, we can end it from here. Isaiah 32. Verse 5. And that day, ungodly fools will not be heroes. Scoundrels will not be respected. Right? And no matter how you look at it, you know, I found it to be pretty interesting that um, the video that told the most truth, right, which they suspended, had the most views, right? Now, I don't watch them that much, but just in that aspect, you know, out of all the videos, that video had the most views. For fools speak foolishness and make evil plans. They practice ungodliness. And spread false teachings about the Lord. They deprive the hungry of food and give no water to the thirsty. That's why terrible times is coming. Even more so that the Lord is going to take away the men of truth, the prophets off the streets. So now they're really going to be thirsty. They're really going to be looking for answers. Be really looking for what to do. And in so many words, trust the Lord. Never this so-called white man. Right? So that's pretty much it, man. You know, of course, as Yahweh told us, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation and never trust thy enemy. Right? There was actually a video. You know, brothers could check them out. I just watched it again. The brother, um, GMS Watchman, how the state of Israel created Hamas. All right? So, if <clears throat> With that, Shalom to the elect.